One of the most common questions we get in the extension offices throughout the state during the summer months is one that's related to messy fruits that uh, come off of a lot of our landscape trees. And this can be a real problem. And for example, we have a sweet gum here. This is a very common tree species uh, that grows throughout the state, uh, mostly on the east side of the state actually. And, and many of us are familiar with these uh, pods or fruits that are produced and they drop to the ground and they become a real mess and a real nuisance. Now, really the best way to approach this problem is if you have, you know, if you're planning to plant a tree, make sure you select one that doesn't produce fruit. And there are several types of trees that either don't produce fruit or like in the case of a sweet gum, there are, there are fruitless sweet gums that you can purchase. And there are a lot of other landscape trees that we have that you can, that you can select trees that don't produce those fruits. Or in some cases, there's, there are trees that have both male and female trees. So the male flowers are produced on one tree, the female flowers are produced on the other tree, and it's the female trees, of course, that produce the fruits. So one way to avoid those is to buy male selections of those plants. For example, Kentucky coffee tree produces pods uh, on the female trees, but the males are, of course, fruitless, and so that would be a good selection. Ginkgos are also uh, noted for their uh, stinky, messy fruits that they can produce on the female trees, so select a male variety and you can avoid those problems. Another thing to consider is the location. When you are planting a tree, um, I like a lot of the fruits that are produced on uh, trees and I think they're quite interesting, but I wouldn't plant them right next to my driveway or right, right next to my patio where I'm going to spend a lot of time and going to be walking where they would b then be a nuisance. Go ahead and plant them far away from the home where you can still appreciate them but when they fall to the, to the ground, they're not a problem. Now, another option is chemical control. And there are a few products that are available uh, to help address the issue. The one that's most available to the homeowner and packaged for the homeowner is one that has ethophon. And this is uh, registered for use in Oklahoma. And it actually goes under the product name of Florel, Fruit Eliminator. And this is a plant growth regulator. And when it's sprayed on the plant, it reacts by producing ethylene, which then causes the fruits to abort. And the problem with that product, though, is that you have to make sure you apply it at the right time. The tree has to be in flower from mid to full bloom, and you have to get good coverage of the tree. So the problem we run, to, run into with homeowners is we have a large mature tree, like many of our sweet gums can get, and sycamores and other of our large landscape trees, and a homeowner doesn't have the products or the equipment, I guess, to really get good coverage and get way up into the tree. So, you know, you could hire uh, a pesticide applicator to do it for you, but that becomes a real problem or it can be kind of expensive. Um, smaller trees like, like maybe crab apples, those you could probably uh, easily spray yourself and get pretty good control. But the timing is very critical and getting complete coverage on the tree is also critical. Now another option is there is a trunk injection that's now available and it actually contains IBA which is a plant hormone and it's applied to the trunk of the tree and there are injections made into the trunk and then the, uh, the chemical is applied to, those, to a system that, uh, uh, that injects it into the trunk of, tree, uh, trunk of the tree and it takes it up into the tree and what it does is it causes the flowers to prematurely drop. Now this product though is not available to the homeowner, only an arborist or certified applicator can, apl can apply it or use it. And so that could also be a, an additional or, or kind of expensive. The other problem with both of these products is it's not a, a one-shot cure-all. You do have to apply it on a regular, uh, at least yearly, um, to help control those fruits. So to summarize, the best way to deal with fruit trees or trees that produce fruit that may become a nuisance is proper plant selection. Choose a tree that does not produce the fruit, either male selection or maybe a sterile variety. Make sure that you locate the tree, if you do like the fruits, in an area where when the fruits drop, they're not going to be a problem. And then you have the options, of course, of using Florel uh, yourself or maybe hire someone to help you with it or apply the trunk injections also by an arborist.